In this video, I'm gonna be showing you some Elementor progress tracker tips and tricks that you can use on your website. So you definitely don't wanna miss out and here's what we're gonna be creating. So the first trick is a progress tracker that I combined with the hamburger menu. So as you can tell, whenever I scroll, we have this tracker here that will scroll all the way to a circle right when we reach the end. And then the second one is, you can already see, is this tracker here. So whenever I start to scroll, we have this progress animation going on. And then the third one is this one here, except this progress goes with our section. So as you can tell, whenever I reached the entire width of my section, it will end up reaching its destination. Now the fourth one that we're gonna be creating is maybe a simple one that you've probably already seen before, but I did wanna go over it. And it's basically this one here. So as you can tell, whenever I start to scroll, we have this progress bar going and it's right under our header. Now that is pretty much what we're gonna be creating. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to like the video for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And I hope you guys enjoy. So the first tip slash trick that I wanna show you is adding a progress tracker to your section. So I'm gonna copy this section here and paste it at the bottom. And I'm probably just gonna switch these around here. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is add an intersection, because I'm gonna show you guys two examples where this can work. And it just depends where you wanna go about using this. So I'm gonna add this image in here, and then I'm gonna bring the text in this column. And I don't really need this anymore, so I'm just gonna remove that. And then I'm gonna remove this transform here. And then so now we can go ahead and search for our progress tracker. And I'm gonna add that at the top. And what we can do is instead of tracking our, our entire page, we can do our selector and we can just add a class or an ID. So for this example, I'm gonna just add it to my section. I'm gonna go into advanced and I'm gonna do a class of test. Now I'm gonna add it inside here on my selector. And you just wanna add a dot test cause we're doing a class. Now I'm just gonna stylize this a bit. So, I'm gonna bring down the height to about five pixels and I'm gonna add a progress color. I'm just gonna make it white and for my tracker background, I'm gonna set this to transparent. So I'm just gonna bring this all the way down and there we go. So now we have it set to work with our section only. So I'm gonna click update and let's go ahead and preview this. And then as you can tell, it works perfectly with my section. And then I can even add it inside here, inside the inner column. So apparently I can't drag it right now. Sometimes Elementor glitches like that. So I'm just gonna copy it and then remove it and add it at the top there. And we can basically do the same thing. So the cool part about the progress tracker is that it works well on mobile. So if I go into my responsive panel and I go into mobile and I scroll down, as you can tell, it works very well. So the next thing that I wanna go over is how to add a floating progress tracker. So I'm gonna actually use this one since we already have it here. It's very simple, but it is a cool thing that you can do. So basically, we can position this, go into inline, and then go into um, fixed. Now we can't see it right now, but we just need to set it up. So it's right there at the top, as you can tell, we just need to bring it down a little bit and adjust the sizing on that. So we're probably gonna set this to custom instead of fixed. And we can have a fixed size for this, you see? And you see how it's gonna adjust anyway. So we can maybe set it up like this, but the size should be fine. 
and then i'll probably go ahead and move it maybe to the right here in a little bit um but i do want to add a border radius i feel like that's looks pretty good when i add a border radius on that so i'm going to maybe add a border radius on of five and i'm also going to do it to um to the tracker background as well and then i want to add I want to also add a color to the tracker background. I'm just going to maybe add a light gray or something. Just something so then we were able to see it, right? Just like this. You see how clean that looks? Um, maybe we can just do a little more. There we go. And then what we can do is we can just go ahead and drag this either where we want and position it. Maybe add it right here. And then as you can tell now, we have that cool effect whenever we scroll but I know that it's still set to the section. So let's actually remove that. Go into um, my progress tracker. And let's set it up to be the entire page instead. So now let's just check it out. As you can tell, whenever we start to scroll, we have that cool little progress um animation there so and that's something that you could do as well i've seen people just do it this way before so i know it's something that's used on websites um in case i didn't mention this if you want to learn how to create this um cool scrolling animation with this background i actually have a video that i uploaded recently um i'll try to link it above just in case so you guys can check that out all right so now let's go ahead and do the next thing here. So I'm going to remove this tracker. I don't need it anymore. Oops, I don't think I removed the right thing here. Let's remove this. All right, perfect. Um, so I'm going to click update. And we're going to go into our header. That's the next thing that I wanted to go over. And so let's go into templates and theme builder. I don't really like using their own theme builder panel. So I'm just going to get out of that. And then I'm going to click add new and I'm going to add a header and it's just going to be a brand new header just so then I can give you guys that example here. So I'm going to call it new header and I'm probably only going to set it to this page anyway, but we're going to go ahead and choose where is it? Uh, this one here, this one's pretty clean. So I'm just going to use this one. Okay. And then I'm going to grab, I'm going to add a section right under here. And go ahead and grab a progress tracker. I'm going to paste it right in here. Go into my section. Make sure it's set to no gap and set it to full width. There we go. And go into the progress tracker. Should be set to entire page. It's, it's perfect. Our height is going to be five pixels. Our color, we can just adjust this. Maybe make it like a blue. I know we can't score. We can't scroll right now. But I do want to see how this looks. Um, so I'm going to publish this. And we probably still got to set that to sticky, but. And use that page there. There we go. So now if I go ahead and refresh this. Notice that now we have our header here, but we, we can kind of see, right? But the thing is, though, if we have to make it sticky so then we can see the progress there. And I noticed that there is a border, I think, right, right under um, this header here. So go to your border. And in case you're using this template, which you're probably not, I'm just going to remove that anyway. And I'm going to set this section to st sticky. So go into the section, go into advance, uh, motion effects, and set it to the top. Now, if we click update. And I'm going to refresh this page here. And we start to scroll. We notice that we'll have that cool progress tracker animation. And it works perfectly. Now, 
what if we want the header to be sticky and then we want just a progress right under it, right? So go to your section, go to your header section, go to motion effects, set that to set your sticky to the top. Go to update. Hit refresh. So now if we start to scroll, if you notice, um, our header will be sticky and then we'll have that progress bar at the top. But I honestly don't want that at the top. I want it under, I mean, that's fine if you guys did want to do that, but I actually would like it right under my header. So what we need to do is I'm going to add just something random. So I'm able to scroll. As you can tell right now, I can't really scroll. So I can't see my progress bar whenever I scroll. So let me see if I can just expand um, the height of this a little bit. Honestly, I could have just done a, that was, yeah, I could just do this, honestly. Um, height, set my minimum. There we go. And then as you can tell, now that I bring this down, we have that progress bar, but I would like to have that this bar here that we have right under it. So go into motion effects and maybe do, we can do about a hundred. So basically we're saying whenever it scrolls a hundred from the top, bring this one down hundred pixels. Um, so it's not really, is it, you know what? I think it is at the perfect spot for that surprise. We got it very well. Cause we could have done 50 or 80 or something in it would have been right here, but it looks like 80 is the sweet spot. And if we wanted to even bring it down further, um, you know what? Actually, I don't think I did get it. I think it's actually right here. Let's try that. So let's update it. Uh, it is partially in there, but it's fine. So now if we see it on preview, we start to scroll. It looks like it works pretty well. Now we do have that spacing. I know we have that big gap, but that's just because we set up the height. Um, let me just remove that now since I don't really need this section anymore. Um, and if I click update and, and then refresh this, uh, there you go. Should be all set. So now we have that set up. Now we can go ahead and set up another one which is pretty much our, my last tip and trick that I want to show you. I think this one's a really cool one. I haven't seen this that, that often, but I have seen it on some websites and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So um, we're going to pretend that we're using only a hamburger menu on this, uh, on this website here. Um, let me fix that. What happened here? A little glitch. Let me refresh this. Alrighty. So, I'm going to actually save this as a template really quick just because I want to show you guys in the beginning of this video. So I'm going to call it progress header. Alrighty. So what we're going to do is let's remove this progress bar and I'm going to leave this menu. You know what? It's not really necessary because I'm going to have it on the, on the side here and I'm going to remove this um, logo as well. Unless I had a white logo, then I could use that. But you know what? I think I can turn this into white if I go into, um, I forget which one is it. Is this one, I forget which one is it to turn it white. One of these, but anyway, apparently I just completely forgot. So scratch that part. So just go ahead and remove this and I'm going to remove the background as well. Cause it is going to be transparent just so then I can give you guys that example. And then I don't really need any of this, but you know what? I'll just remove it just cause, and I'm going to set it to the end anyway. All right. So let's add an icon. I'm sure you guys will have your way of doing this if you guys have already. And I'm going to add a bar. So pretty much we would use this to open up a pop-up menu. So I'm going to go to advanced positioning, set this um, to, to inline. There we go. That's fine. And I'm going to move this probably over a bit just so then I can fit that progress bar circle on it. 
So let me change the color of this to black and the sizing make it a little bit smaller, not too big. And I'm gonna maybe add from the right, do about, eh, let's do about 50 pixels from the right. That should be fine. And we might need to bring that down later, but that's fine for now. And then let's just go ahead and grab our progress tracker. And set it to circle, circular. And it's the entire page. Sorry about that. Um, and then I'm just going to set this to transparent, actually, for the tracker background. And the main progress indicator background is going to be set to white. Um, probably going to be set it, set it to red just so that I can see it right now. And you know what? This one, too. So I can at least see it because I can't really see it. So until we place it, we'll fix that up. So go into advanced positioning, set this to inline. There we go. I'm going to move this one under it. Um, you know what? Let me copy this and try to set this one first. Or you know what? Since it's not working, let's just use our navigator and move that above this one. There we go. Sometimes it just glitches out like that. Um, so then click on your your icon there, go into positioning, or sorry, go into advance, and we're just going to set up a negative. So from the left side, we're going to shift this to the left, negative, until we reach the center of this, or at least somewhere close to the center that we feel like is close. There we go. And then we're just going to bring this down a bit. There we have it. So now that's looking perfect. All right, so that's a good size. I'm going to bring down this section a little bit. So I'm going to go into advance and then add some margin maybe um, from the top. Just a little bit. You know what? Actually, instead of that, sorry, um, go ahead and do pixels. Probably better. Um, pixels on that. Just so then we have that spacing on there. Um, That's fine, that works. So now let's click on the progress tracker and let's set that up to white and the tracker background. Set that to um, to zero. And then our little hamburger icon menu there, set that to black. Now, of course, I could just link this to a pop-up if I wanted to, so you can just go to link and then um, link it up to a pop-up here, but I don't have that set right now, so I'm not gonna do that. And then now, if I were to refresh this, you notice, now we have our menu working and whenever we scroll, you see how that will automatically work. And it just looks really cool how we're able to do that. I haven't seen too many websites do this. And I'm sure that once you guys notice that you're able to do this, it will definitely be a great addition to your client's website or even your website as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is pretty much all I have for you guys. If you have any questions on this, um, just feel free to comment down below and I'll definitely try to help you guys out. Now, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Now, as always, thanks for watching.